very cold winter caused birds to fly north, fish to migrate south, and snow to become blue. Late in the evening, the temperature dropped to the point where people could feel their lips freezing. What had been said the night before became abundantly clear the following morning. Paul Bunyan took a stroll out into the blue snow winter. He was up to his knees in icy blue snow, and he heard a noise that sounded like a, a bleat, a snort. Looking down, he noticed a small blue bull snorting angrily, bouncing around in the snow. When Bunyan observed the courageous blue little mite, he had a hearty laugh. He didn't change from his icy blue hue, though, when stride and warmed. Over time, Paul named this tiny blue bull Babe the Blue Ox. Babe, like other of Paul Bunyan's animals, grew to huge proportions. Just gazing at him for five minutes made him taller. It took a day for crows to fly from one horn to the other, and 42 axe handles would fit between his eyes. Bunyan would dry his clothes in the wind using Babe's horns as the anchor points for his laundry line. Babe the Blue Ox had to find a cliff to scratch on. He kept knocking over trees, which prompted Paul to beg for forgiveness from everybody. To satisfy his hunger, Babe devoured 30 bales of hay, wire and all. And after that morning snack of wire, it took six men armed with pickaroons to get the wire out of there. Babe was an integral part of the administration of Paul Bunyan's logging camp. Since he could pull anything that had two ends, Paul relied on him to straighten out the logging routes. In order to prove access to the logging camp, Babe built a new 20-mile road. When Paul needed to ice the newly paved lumber roads, he had Babe the Blue Ox pull the massive tank wagon. Unfortunately, the tank developed a leak, and the water slowly trickled south, eventually becoming the Mississippi River. In the years that followed, Babe was employed in the log hauling industry. In order to keep Babe busy through the summer, Paul whitewashed the logging roads following the spring thaw. One summer, Babe the Blue Ox was used to drag logs down a newly paved road. He pictured a white winter with smooth ice onto which the logs could glide with ease. Over on the other side of the mountain, he spotted a young yeller. His harness was already off when he came over to introduce himself. Paul bought Bessie the older cow, and in doing so, Babe agreed to haul anything else. Bessie the yellow cow married Babe the blue ox and still managed to retain her affable demeanor. Her long yellow eyelashes gave the lumberjacks a good laugh whenever she blinked. She provided milk and cheese for the logging camp. Sourdough Sam made enough butter from her cream to keep the pancake griddle well oiled on a daily basis. Bessie and Babe were otherwise identical. Bessie preferred warm, sunny days of summer than the cold and snow, though. Some winters, Paul Bunyan had Johnny Inkslinger make Bessie a pair of green goggles to trick her into thinking it was still summer out. When the timber tracks got slick during the summer, Paul Bunyan would use the leftover butter from Bessie's baking. Due to the slippery roadways, Babe the Blue Ox enjoyed summer almost as much as Bessie. Tales from American Folklore These are interesting things. With J.C.